Hey, hey, welcome or welcome back. It is, as always, good to see you today. It is Sunday here in my little world, and Amberlynn uploaded a video yesterday, and she appears to be on her every other day schedule now, so we should expect a video upload tomorrow on Monday as well. So, I have a nice little springy background here. I'm hoping to usher in spring early. It was 60 degrees here yesterday, Fahrenheit, and it's supposed to be in the 60s today again so i'm hoping for a spring uh well for a spring for spring to come in a little bit early so we do have amber lynn's video that she uploaded yesterday and it is titled target hall perfume organization and best mascara ever and it's a vlog um mascara i i don't know i've never worn mascara i couldn't tell you good from bad i guess if it makes your eyelashes clumpy it's not good i don't know but um yeah we'll see what she gets at target i went to target yesterday myself <laughs> so i've got my coffee hope you got yours let's go ahead and get on into amberlynn's video hello 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 welcome to a new vloggity vlog it is 9 14 a.m and we are currently at 267 steps. She said 914. So I've seen a lot of people talking about her step count and everything else and how, how can she not get that many steps? Or how can she not get more? If you don't go out or if you're not out walking, it's hard to get a lot of steps in. Um, I know for me personally, I do have a desk job, so I don't have that many opportunities to get up and walk around during the day. But for Amberlynn, I mean, she would, she doesn't walk very fast and she takes very short steps. So for her to get 4,000 steps, that's, that's good for her. I would say, especially at her size, I wouldn't expect somebody at her size to be striving for 10,000 immediately or anything at that rate. I, I rarely get 4,000 steps in a day. I got 3,700 yesterday and I was moving around a large portion of the day doing stuff around the house or at stores so I just I I don't walk a lot it seems <laughs> or maybe my Fitbit didn't register all of them but if you go to a store and walk around for a while or a mall or something you're able to get more steps in but I know I struggle to get my steps in as well so I can really see where she's coming from and empathize with Amber Lynn when it comes to step counts. Um, granted, I do have a job that I have to sit at a desk. <laughs> Amber Lynn doesn't. But, well, I mean, she has YouTube. So as you guys saw in my last vlog, I did not reach my 4,000. Yesterday was just like such a weird day for me. I was exhausted mentally, physically. I think I'm feeling a little bit better today. So I think that we might be able to reach my 4,000 steps because I need to. So I'm sitting here wondering, should I do my makeup? I don't know if I'm feeling it today, folks. I don't know. Um, actually, just opened my laptop. Hey, um, we could be best. Hey, Amberlynn. And what I have open. So she's wearing her Leave Me Alone shirt today. I wonder if she's trying to send some subliminal messages to people. Fuller House. <laughs> I am almost done with all of the episodes. I have been I haven't watched like watching it. this. It's been putting me in such a happy place. Um, truly, truly. I'm on season five, episode 16, and there's only two more episodes left after this, and it makes me so sad. Oh, and Grey's Anatomies, Grey's Anatomies, okay, plural. Grey's Anatomy is back. Meredith okay. Grey left. No, you know, I've never seen a single episode of Grey's Anatomy. It's been on for what, like 15 years or something? Never seen a single episode. Question mark slash is leaving. So underwhelming. It honestly all of these people coming for Grey's Anatomy like for the last few seasons why is it still going it's so boring now they're the I'm like excuse me ma'am it's so good I think I finally get it though this last episode I was just like "Ooh, they're hanging on for dear life because it wasn't good so I'm hoping this next episode coming up will be better but who knows who knows y'all it's been a minute I watch Masked Singer I haven't watched this week's episode because I haven't had time yet. Do any of you watch The Masked Singer? I really like it. <laughs> it's like one of the few shows that I watch. I'm behind on, behind on Bob's Burgers. 
and Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. Those are like the only shows that I watch right now. Yeah. But we have a Target haul. Oh, Target. We have a Target haul. Oh, Target. And I'm excited. First things first. First things first, I'm not really. We got some basic cotton rounds. Yes, we did. So I've been hearing a lot about Native. I really, really wanted to get I have some native deodorant and native toothpaste. I actually really like the deodorant. I first found a little travel size native deodorant at Walmart last summer. And I bought it when I had to go to Memphis for work. It was 100 degrees outside. It kept me dry. I'm like, sweet. So when I was at, Tar at Target, um, a few weeks later, I bought a full size native deodorant. And it was like the peach cupcake, I think, or something. Yeah, I actually really like it. It's kind of expensive, but if I find a deodorant that keeps me dry and smells good, I mean, it's kind of worth it. But it goes. So I got some body wash. I got the eucalyptus and mint. And then Feline and I both got one of the eucalyptus and mint um, native deodorants. You guys, smells so damn good. We also got some Sponge Daddy, Scrub Daddy. Was I hearing something in her background? I'm telling you, when the daddy went into the freaking shark tank, he knew what he was doing, and he was daddy for sure. Oh. Ew. Coordination much? These work amazing. <laughs> what? Pauline's <laughs> jealous. <laughs> I needed a new mascara. I usually do. She has this little hype. <laughs> when she laughs around wifey. Better than sex, but I also really like the last sensational by Maybelline. So got that. Okay, so. Hmm. I want to. Uh, try else? using some butterfly oh. clips. You know, I am from the 90s. I'm a 1990 gal. So I have every right. I used to wear butterfly clips in fifth grade. It was like my favorite. I'd wear like a really messy bun and I would just like clip a bunch of butterfly clips. Okay. So I might actually wear these today. We'll see. We'll see. So I got some like really pretty colorful ones, purple and like teal, stuff like that. And then this one is just like clear gray browns. Okay. So as you guys know, okay. I am a Blake Lively stan. She is my she queen, is, yes. my wife, my daddy, my mommy. <laughs> Try again. Ew! Rewind. It's kind of gross. <laughs> I literally have a poster of her in my hallway. Okay. So, she's actually going to be in Colleen Hoover movie. Okay? It ends with us. Y'all have told me some scary things about this. Like, it's super controversial, etc., etc. I don't know. I want to form my own opinion. So I got It Ends With Us. I also got Ugly Love and I got Confess. So yeah, I've read uh, Layla by Colleen Hoover. I've read Verity and I've loved both. I have a couple Colleen Hoover books. I know I have uh, November 9th, which I have not read yet, but I really- I haven't read or listened to any Colleen Hoover books. I've been doing audiobooks lately. I need to finish my library here in front of me in my closet. Um, I need to get around to that. Probably not today. I'm excited to read It Ends With Us because y'all, y'all have some opinions. And the fact that it's gonna be a movie with my daddy, my queen, my love. I'm not in it. <laughs> no, Blake Lively was daddy in A Simple Favor. You saw her, you saw her, she looked. A Simple Favor, wasn't that the one with Anna Kendrick? I heard good things about that. I don't watch many movies either. It's like, what do I do with my life? I don't have time to read books. I'm way behind on my comic books. I don't watch TV. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I work and I work on videos. That's my life, apparently. Okay, so I put some butterflies in my hair. Aw, look at our little spring queen there with her butterflies in her hair. I made her look kind of derpy in that pause screen. I've. Man. You could pause at any point in my video and I would look derpy even just sitting here. So, sorry, Amberlynn. And I just don't know if I'm that girly anymore. I don't know if it looks that good. Um, maybe I need some makeup on. I might just put some of my mascara on and see if it like huh. makes everything come together. I highly doubt it. But right now I'm not feeling it. Nope. I'm sure you guys aren't either. Okay, so I put some mascara on. I put my hair in a side braid and I changed my butterflies. I don't know, folks. I don't know. And I know you guys are... I could be, like, having the best makeup day and people in the comments be like, ew, she looks so ugly. So maybe... I have no opinion because I don't know anything about, like, 
how things should look or style. I mean, I may have an opinion, but I mean, I mean, sure, 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 sure. It's hard to see the dark ones in her dark hair, though. I shouldn't ask what you guys think. Maybe I shouldn't. Um, so I think I do prefer this brand and style over these ones. So I'm just saying, and if anyone wants to stay like organized, just clip them back on their little thing. You know what I'm saying? I wish I would have done that with all my earrings, but, but see. Yeah. Are you going to end up donating these? That to stay organized. But yeah, I don't know. I definitely prefer this look over the one I just showed you guys, but eh. Okay, so I've officially started this massive, like this is massive. It won't even go fully on my desk. Uh, so I always forget about this whenever she shows her diamond art, but somebody always mentions it in the comments. She mentioned she has a fear of like clusters of dots and things, but she's okay with doing diamond paintings. <laughs> um, oh, my phone. So yeah, it's... It's a little, little weird that she's okay with these little clusters of dots, but whatever she was talking about in her video, but oh, there was a slag in the science book, and I don't know. Diamond painting, it's a mermaid that a subscriber sent me. And wifey too, because wifey was like, ew, from off screen whenever, whenever she was talking about that. Ew! Thank you so much. And this is what it'll look like when it's done. But I did this tiny little corner like tiny so what I did was I took some scissors and I just cut it the little uh plastic sticky part so it would be out of my way I've seen some other diamond painters do that yes there's a lot of diamond painting okay. videos online and they said it was easier if you do it that way so I decided to give it a go and I don't know I feel like I prefer just keeping it on but for the sake of since it's such a big diamond painting I'm probably gonna just continue doing it like this okay so my bathroom sink tends to get Girl, I feel you. My kitchen table does the same thing too. I need to clean my bathroom sink as well. Extremely messy within a week's time. Literally just a week. That is it. So I'm going to be cleaning her, but I got these. Oh, we're going to have to bring up the censoring finger to block out those boobs. Things from Amazon. Got two of them. I thought they were going to come um, pre-made. But they weren't. I had to put them together. But I got oh, them my no. I'm kind of tired of this. Travesty. I don't know. It's just like, they all fall. There's no rhyme and reason. Kind of over it. So I'm going to use this instead. And I just want to do like a before and after. So here's my mess. Backpack, perfume, hairbrush, wallet, uh, toilet paper, toothbrush, paste, trash, <laughs> ointment. Because I have expiration. You guys know that. Blah, blah, blah. So we're going to do a little before and after. Which is my favorite. Let's see it, girl. So let's do it. Are you guys ready? Well, I just noticed that that wall outlet is like through the mirror, it looked like. That's kind of crazy. Are you sure? Let's see it. It looks so... <coughs> What's sad is I'll be doing the same thing in a video that I'm going to be uploading for my weekend. Because I have to clean my bathroom sink, too. <laughs> oh, my life and Amber Lynn's life are just as exciting. I'm sorry. Good. Dun, da, da. Oh my gosh, I was able to go shopping in my living room for a plant to put in here because I have a lot of plants in my living room. Some of them nice. are fake, some of them are real. I took a fake one because the real ones need sun and my bathroom does not get sun. The only thing Obviously. I am questioning is I'm definitely going to keep these two perfumes down here, but should I keep one here and one here? I don't know. I have the other ones chilling in there. I don't know. Yeah, no. Let me show you guys what it looks like without them. I like all the storage in her bathroom. Whenever I eventually get my bathroom redone, I'm going to put in a vanity that has drawers in it. Um, it just it just gives more storage space, and you don't have things sitting out on the on the on the sink. I did install a new medicine cabinet that you might have seen in a recent video that I uploaded of my own stuff. Um, because there's no storage in my house. <laughs> And so I installed a medicine cabinet in my master bathroom and in the guest bathroom to put stuff in. Like that. It looks more clean and pristine. So. Oops, that was loud. Sure, oh, girl. This looks phenomenal. I'm very, very happy with this. 
Yes, I am currently sitting in my bra. It's my home. It's fine. Why don't we all just sit around in our bras? Let's... No. And I don't know why people are so, like, weird about bras when people wear bikinis. To me, a bra and a bikini, same thing, just different material. Yeah, they, they pretty much are, but it's more the, um, I guess, the connotations or the usage of them. Bras are more intimate than than bikinis. Like, let's just say I'm wearing a bikini, okay? I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's storming right now. And it's just, like, really peaceful. I can hear it. Yeah, it, it stormed here a few days ago as well. Update on the Stillwater Girls. I... Pluviophile! Oh, she hasn't said that word in a while. We're gonna skip the book. Skippity skip skip. Have maybe 20 pages left, and I'm actually gonna start after um, I finish it. I'm gonna start It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Like, I have a whole stack of books behind me that I wanna read, but I really wanna read this book because I don't know, people are having strong opinions, and I love a good strong opinion, so. I want to see how I feel about it. Okay, you guys. So it's been a few hours. I actually just All edited right. my video um, that you guys saw a couple days ago. And I got that scheduled. And I just want to say that I got so used to using Better Than Sex Mascara that I forgot how amazing this mascara is. Like, this is after all day. I have rubbed my eyes. I have itched my eyes. And look at it. It's still like... You mean like scratched your eyes? Because it's just different. It looks amazing, girl. Amazing. I don't know. Phenomenal. Like, I don't get it. Um, it's the last sensational Maybelline. I get the very black color. And when I'm using this guy here, no, it's not as good. So update on steps. It is almost midnight. And I'm only at 3,200. So I didn't reach my 4,000. It's 8 a.m. here and I'm at 803. And I even went to the gym this morning. But I did not walk on the treadmill. <laughs> My knee was a little sore this morning from uh, from doing the stairs a lot in my house yesterday. So I didn't do the treadmill this morning. But I'm at 8.03 and it's 8 a.m. <sighs> Two days in a row I didn't. So I have this would you rather thingy where every day it's like a page a day calendar. And the question is would you rather have a dog with a cat's personality or have a cat with a dog's personality? And I don't have an answer. Cat. Would you rather look cat. young and feel old or look old and feel young? Ooh, I think I'd rather look young and feel old. Anyways, I don't really know what the- Man, I already do, I guess, look youngish and feel old. I've had people tell me that I don't look, look like I'm 43. But that could just be because you're not getting the full, full resolution here on my GoPro. <laughs> vlogs are. I just know a lot of people come for me because I don't live the same life that I used to live years ago and it's just people change and like I just have a diff different journey in life. This is a different era in life right now but I'd rather be surrounded with a couple people who truly truly love me and respect me who don't want to be on camera versus tons of people who do want to be on camera but make me feel like crap every single day. I know a lot of people are like oh my god you're you know your channel's so boring now because no one wants to so I can totally feel that. I mean, we do get a, a little bit of wifey, but it's, I mean, she might as well just be on camera at this point. You can blur her face or whatever, I guess, but it's less too much effort for Amberlynn with her, with her iPhone, <laughs> iPhone video editing skills. Um, but I understand it seems a lot of people, the older we get, we'd rather surround ourselves with a few close friends. You might have a lot of acquaintances. I mean, I have a lot of acquaintances, but I only have a few people that are really in my life regularly. There are people that I wish were in my life more regularly because I really care about them. A lot of my former co-workers, I wish I saw them more regularly. Uh, I, wish I wish I saw my best friend more regularly. He, he lives in Denver. Um, and some other friends, but it's, it seems the, the older you get, you want to have more, you, you know, fewer, closer friends and not a huge variety of friends. I have nobody else in my videos typically. So I understand not having a lot of people around you, but 
it does make for boring. <laughs> it does make for content that's a little bit boring. My content is hella boring when I record it. Um, at least Amber Lynn has a few things going on in her life, like the weight loss surgery stuff. Be on your vlogs, and it's because of some of the people watching me. Um, it gets IRL in real life. Um, people harass and stalk and do crazy mean things, and really, people in my life don't want to be a part of that. And I understand. I also don't want people in my life to be a part of that because it's just people are harassing and stalking amber in real life it's vicious and i love the people in my life and i don't want them to be hurt and yeah so for now it's gonna well we did have fbi frank she needs to call fbi frank be me and it's only gonna be me that's how my channel started and that's how it's gonna continue um, I never came on here to be like, this is Amberlynn and friends. No, it's just Amberlynn. It's Amberlynn Reed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to see you in the next one. Bye. Well, that ending was a little interesting. Um, <clears throat> I know Amberlynn does get a lot of, you know, hate, you know, nobody deserves that really. I mean, may maybe some people maybe do, but it's sometimes it can be a bit much like attacking her for her, her her weight and things like that calling her a fat dumb whatever and she should die and things like that not necessary um interesting that people are harassing and stalking her in real life that is very interesting granted we don't we don't have any real proof of this people are gonna say she's lying but we have seen people post pictures of wifey out walking Twinkie. So somebody that knows who Amberlynn is and knows where she lives has posted videos or pictures. So we do know people are out there that will do this. People are out there that will do all kinds of crazy things. People get stalked all the time. Um, but interesting. So um, yeah, don't don't do that. That's not cool. Don't do, do that to anybody. <laughs> but I guess all that being said, we're going to end this here. Um, her video was pretty short. <clears throat> Mine might be a bit longer than necessary, but hey, I was feeling chatty today. So I hope you all have a lovely rest of the weekend and an amazing week. And until next time, be safe and take care.